Hey guys, welcome back to another video where I'm bringing you some cryptocurrency news. An amazing article where Court Victory President IRS may not tax staking rewards until sold. That was a huge article that came out today or yesterday. And we're going to go over that article. But then also in this news, we're going to have the vice versa. So you can come up with your own conclusion of what's to happen. There's another article out there saying, no, IRS may not write off taxes on crypto staking rewards so easily claims experts. So here's two articles I'm going to be going over with you today. And that way you guys can get the information yourself and make your judgment, your own personal judgment on what's going to happen in the future. But I think this is huge nodes for staking people out there. So people who run Divi nodes, uh, Theta nodes, uh, Polygonmatic nodes, anything that's bringing you digital passive income, this is potentially huge, great news. So let's go over the article. Here we go. The Nashville couples case against the RRS compared unclaimed and unsold crypto rewards to an unsold book from a writer and will be rewarded a refund with interest for taxes paid. So yeah, taxes are around the corner, people. If you got your W-2 form, get those taxes done and then use that refund to buy more cryptos. <laughs> Not a financial advisor. <laughs> All right, so a Nashville couples lawsuit over taxes they paid on unclaimed and unsold Tezos staking rewards is coming to an end with the Internal Revenue Service, aka the IRS, agreeing to issue them a refund. The decision may be set at a precedent for future guidance on how crypto rewards earned through staking are taxed. At a present proof of stake, staking reward are classified as income, but tax payable as they are gained. The new development suggests they should be only taxed when they are sold for USD. The Jarrett's filed a complaint against the United States government in May 2021, which started or stated that the 8,876 Tezos XTZ tokens they created in 2019 were not income and should not have been taxed as such. The complaint also claimed that the government was attempting to do something unprecedented, which is tax creative activity rather than income. Taxing newly created cakes, books, and tokens as income would have a far reaching and detrimental effects on taxpayers and the U.S. economy and is without support in the Internal Revenue Code, regulations, case law, or constitution. According to the court filing expected to be made public on Thursday, the IRS declared it would follow through with the Jarrett's request to refund with statutory interest, as provided by the law, the $3,793 that the Jarrett's paid for their unclaimed rewards last year. As of yet, guidance on how tax unclaimed Staking rewards is lacking. The IRS asked taxpayers whether they have received, sold, exchanged, or otherwise disposed of any financial interest in any virtual currency. But none of those descriptors seem to pertain directly to Jarrett's unsold and unclaimed rewards. Forbes reported that sources close to the matter say the couple plans to pursue the case further in a court to obtain longer-term protection and setting nationwide precedent. American taxpayers are likely praying that no legislative response to this court outcome resembles the UK regulator's new guidance on crypto staking. Their staking will often be considered as the sale of tokens and will incur capital gains. So, ooh, yeah, so Europe's doing their thing in the UK, taxing staking results, but in America, it's quite lacking on the reports. Like, all you can do, whether it's, where did it say that? Like, <clears throat> have you received, sold, exchanged, or otherwise disposed of any financial interest in virtual currency? This is the only thing that the IRS on tax forms ask you. So this is huge, huge news when it comes to this. So I'm excited. I believe this could be a huge win for cryptocurrency holders and, and masternode node holders out there. So woo, good article. But now let's look at the other side of this article where AMB Crypto wrote out, like, no, the IRS may not write off taxes on crypto sting rewards so easily, claims experts. So let's take a look at what they got to say. Here we go. So crypto news was a buzz recently with speculation of the U.S. Internal Revenue Service writing off the taxes of income generated from unsold state cryptocurrencies. Many, including crypto influencers on social media, revert to the implication derived from the district court ruling in Nashville. However, experts are now claiming that the industry might have been too quick to rejoice and the precedent set from this single case could not be as far reaching as was earlier thought. Too soon to rejoice, it all began when news broke of Josh and Jessica Jarrett being reimbursed their $3,293 in income tax, plus the statutory interest by the IRS for a 8,876 Tezos tokens they had obtained through staking. The couple had filed a civil lawsuit in May last year claiming that 
Until the stake tokens are sold, it cannot be considered a taxable event since tokens gained through staking should be considered as the acquisition of new property rather than income. Many in the crypto sector began to believe that this could set a large precedent on how taxes on crypto gains are calculated with unsold tokens gained through staking becoming non-taxable. So the rumor is IRS says untraded tokens are tax-free. This is big. This was teed by David Gokstein from at David Gokstein today. But however, some experts have come forward to clear otherwise while calling out publications for misleading investors into possibly defaulting on their tax obligations, public Accountant James Yacoum took to Twitter to explain the same, highlighting that the ruling by a district court was not enough to necessarily set a country right precedent, adding, it may satisfy as a president for their district, but does not satisfy for the president or authorization and guidance for anyone's tax return. He suggested that before the Treasury comes out with a official guidelines declaring the same investors should continue to file their taxes in the assumption that staking rewards are taxed, this will allow them to opt for a refund in the case of the IRS does, does decide to remove this tax. He stressed that people could face serious financial setbacks if they pay taxes with the assumptions spread by the misleading news, as an exclusion from tax returns could lead to both penalties and interest. But all is not lost. However, he did add that one can remain hopeful considering that the documents suggest that the IRS has sided with the taxpayers without the need for a court ruling. The court filing, which are due to be released tomorrow, might offer a greater insight into the outcome of the case. Crypto lawyer Jake Chavinsky also reiterated that these points on Twitter adding that another devastating effect of the misleading news could be people feeling let down by any future related, related to staking taxes that are not a part of with a complete removal. Meanwhile, the United Kingdom has begun its own taxation crusade against staking the DeFi lending with its tax agency. Last guidelines added under reporting requirements for the consumer and creates tax compliance confusion, according to experts. So, yeah, that's the other side of it. Like, did we rejoice too soon with this article by being tax free? Well, people just do what you do, come to your own conclusion, like what needs to be reported, what doesn't need. Like if you're using a non-custodial wallet and nobody know and you're not linked to it at all and you're earning income, why do you need to report it? That's your own information. Nobody knows you got it other than you. So again, I'm not a financial advisor. Go to your own tax attorney or whatever. I'm just saying, like if you're, <laughs> but if you're using exchanges to get these uh, staking rewards, like Coinbase. Uh, BitTrue, I think BitTrue has some staking rewards on it, KuCoin, Kraken, any centralized exchange that is using uh, staking rewards, yes, you got to report on that because that is some, the centralization exchanges. They report to the governments and the states they work in. And so you're going to have to. But if, again, if it's just on a laptop that's not linked to you in any way, it's up to you if you want to report it. I'm just saying, <laughs> but again, people, you do you. I can't tell you how to spend your money or what to do with it. That is your money, your decision. It's your due diligence to do your own research and follow the rules where you can. But that is that news article. If you guys like it, if you guys think that uh, staking should be tax-free, let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback on this. If you think the IRS does not have the right to do this and just in the whole sector of the U.S., let me know too. But guys, that is the news article for you today. Please thumbs up it, subscribe, share it with your friends, and subscribe. I do appreciate that very, very much. So guys, until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.